All right, we're going to talk a little bit about what a computer program looks like in Robot C. So look up top left. This is Robot C. This is our program window up here in the top right. Down here is our debug window when we find errors in it. And over here is where we pull our information from our some of our code. Now let's just look at the program and see what it looks like. At the top of a program, or they call your pragma statements, these are the setup statements. And that's when you start plugging things into your VEX controller. And then you come in and you set them up saying, hey, in here, I've got this, here I got this. For example, our first statement says we've got a sensor in digital port six, and we're gonna call it touch sensor. You could have called it anything you wanted. Switch, that would work. And then another statement, we have a motor in port two, and we call it right motor. And then in port three, we put another motor and we call it left motor. So that's a setup. Tells the robot, hey, what's going on? Now, all this stuff in green are just comments, notes, information, background, uh, title. It, it's, they're called comments. And how you write a comment and how you make it show up in green is you either use, like, look up here. We've got a double um, slash. That's going to be one line of comment. If we have a slash and a asterisk, that means I got a whole bunch of comments coming up and I'm just going to write them like a paragraph. Now, they were neat and tried to put these uh, vertical bars and asterisks just to make it look nice. Those actually don't do anything. It's opening our paragraph and then at the bottom right, we're going to have a closed. See down here in this bottom right? We're closing our comment. So that's a comment. It's just setting things up, giving us a title, telling us what the program's gonna do. So anything in green is a comment. Now, here's our actual program. Not very really long. Really, this is just gonna make motors turn on when I hit a sensor, when I hit a touch button. Um, so task main, we don't even touch that. Our actual program is after the, squir the uh, squiggly brackets. See, there's an open squiggly bracket, a left squiggly bracket. And then it says, hey, wait for a millisecond. And this says how many milliseconds we're gonna wait for. So it's like the robot waits for 2,000 milliseconds before doing anything. So the robot just sits there and think. And then we have a line of code. Oh, at the end of that line of code, we put a semicolon, always after a command. Wow means we're going to loop. We're going to keep thinking about this. For We're just going to keep doing this. So while a sensor value, while the touch sensor is zero, while we haven't pressed anything, turn the motors on and turn them on to 63, which as it says over here in the comments is half speed. And that's what's nice about putting comments here on, in here on lines is you remind yourself what this command is going to do because you're going to forget. You come back two days later, you forgot what you're making this happen. So it's a good habit to always comment each line of code. And again, a single line comment is two slashes, forward slashes. And you don't have to end it, them. Notice there's no end over here. This says anything after these two slashes is a comment. Um, again, we have a curly, another curly bracket because we have some kind of a some action going on inside of the while, and then we end that action with a squiggly bracket the other way, and then we end the program with squiggly bracket the other way. So this thing's just gonna wait and read for someone to touch a button. And until that button gets touched, the motor's gonna run. And then as soon as that button gets touched, motor's gonna go off because this sensor value is gonna become one, so this isn't gonna happen. So that's a basic program. We will talk about others.